on Polo Brady Live. Still to come, we have a stomach-churning feat of strength from the man called Abs of Steel. But first, I'm desperate to do this. I've always wanted to do this. Right, are you ready? Oh, wow. It's like a bingo. Put eyes down now, please. One, four, four, three. Three, two, one, 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 it's all these pensioners and they have no. about 90 books. And, and they go 100 going... miles an hour. <laughs> and I'm sat there sweating and they go, you've missed one. <laughs> <laughs> OK, then, you ready? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, coming out of dressing room three and about to appear at the top of the stairs, he's still the reigning WBA super lightweight champion of the world. Will you please welcome King Khan himself, Mr. Amir Khan. <laughs> Is that real gold? I think it is, yeah. Are they real blink. diamonds? Uh, I don't think they're real. Run no. down the pole and chop hands <laughs> <and> the <laughs> I'm here to congratulations. Cheers, still a champ, kid. That's right, right, yeah. Still unbeaten. Still un I'm sorry I missed it. The fights. Yeah, you, yeah, I was looking forward for you to be there. I mean, you've not missed the last few fights. You I know. There. Well, I love them. I, you know what I mean? The boxing. I'm absolutely crazy for it. Like I said, I thought, well, especially the last time when you was at the fight, I thought you were going to get in the ring and fight yourself. Oh, I, was... <laughs> I was like, well, Paul, stay out. Stay out. Let me deal with this. I, tell you, I used to go to the Liverpool Stadium when I was a kid to watch yeah. the wrestling. And there was always an old woman in the front who used to try and get in the ring. Kill him! <laughs> and I'm a bit like that myself. It's rubbed off on me. How was the fight? How did you feel? Yeah, the fight was good, yeah. you know. Um, not fought in England for the last um, 14 months, coming back home. It's been home. a while, hasn't yeah, it? Where have you been, Amir? I've been to America, fought there. Yeah. I've had my last two fights over there. Uh, previous to the one in Manchester, I was fighting in New York at the Madison Square Garden, sold that out. And what then, was that like, Madison Square Garden? Amazing. I mean, yeah. my dream was to fight in New York, and when I was there, it was like, wow, you know, I'm here. Yeah. yeah. And I had my name lit up in New York, and from there we went well to... Well deserved. Yeah, yeah. And then from there we went to... Um, uh, Mandela Bay, uh, Vegas. Oh, fabulous. And that Gavabal. was brilliant as well. Like, yeah. I see my name lit up in, in, on, the, on the strip and it was amazing. I uh, won that fight and still kept the title. And the last fight was in Manchester and I won that in the sixth round. Next fight, I'm coming, so definitely. The next one's in America again. I'm coming then. I'm going to be there. Pay for it. I'll, yeah. I'll go. <laughs> If you're listening to that, you lot in the gallery, I'm going to see a mere face and I'll do the report. I can't, you'll be blind drunk, I'll be I, no good. I, I need a bucket man, I mean, I'm oh, not, I need a bucket man, so we, we need you. Do you know who the bucket man is? You know, you wear a white polo neck, don't you? Yep. When you're the bucket man, and you have a spot. And what does he do? Does he G you up? Does he say, no, get out really, there? You know, all, he, all he does is just hold the bucket while you spit it, it's spitting it, really. It's quite, it's quite simple, it's quite simple. But you can, you know, you can say a few words, I mean, I'll listen to you. So I hold the bucket and you spit in it. <laughs> and don't you take the gum shield out, though? As well. No, oh, man, I do all the bit with the spawn, and I say, You get in there, and I rip his head off and weigh on his neck. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> no, that's from the trainer. The trainer takes the gum shield out. Oh, no, you won't need a trainer with me, Amaya. I'll deal with it all. <laughs> Let's have a look, shall we, of the highlights of last Saturday's fight. I'll get going now. Here, wait, hear me. A performance like they've never seen before. There's a lovely right hand from Khan. Got him again. And again, body shots, lovely shots. Well, Freddie Roach looks a bit perplexed in the corner. And there's a clash of heads, both of them coming in. And I think Michael has that card. I'm here. Yeah. Fabulous. I mean, I love it. <laughs> now, there's... There's been a lot of controversy about this fight, hasn't there? Yeah. Because McCloskey, he wants, doesn't he want a rematch? Yeah, he wanted a rematch because um, header, we, we had a clash of heads in the six rounds. And, but, you know, looking, looking at it on paper, I mean, I was beating him every round. Exactly. 6-0 uh, it was, for a uh, unanimous decision from all the referee. And, you know, like I said, that's boxing for you, you're going to make mistakes. And, you know, we both went in with the heads and he was cut. So the... the Did you headbutt him? No, he headbutt me. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you but, saved you know, him, right? Getting a cut then. But the end of the day, I really think, you know, in, in a way, it saved him. I mean, yeah. the doctor kind of saved him because yeah. I think if he had gone another one or two more rounds, then that, that cut would have got bigger or I would have knocked him out. He's got the most vicious punch. I mean, like, no messing with you this one. You have to see mine. Hey? <laughs> you have to see mine. You give a rapid punch, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't 
can't watch boxing. Do you know when I, I look? Watch it. Um, I can't watch it. You're so calm before the fight. You, I go in and see him, and he's there on his uh, game console, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, well, I not... can't believe how you're so relaxed. I'm one of them guys, you know, I'm just dead chilled out. You I mean, are. It never gets to me. I've had over 100 amateur fights, and as a pro now, I've had 25 fights. And I'm just kind of chilled, you know. I know I've, I've done a hard working training camp. I spend a lot of time in America yeah. focusing on my training. And I know I'm ready for the fight, so I just go in nice and calm. I go through the game plan with my trainer, so I know exactly what to do in the fight. And I just stay nice and cool. I oh, know, it's, am it's amazing. Now, as, as you said before, I get very excited at the boxing. In fact, I ended up on the news. <laughs> you should have heard me, sister. Hey, I'll watch this. I thought you were going to jump in. I may have. James was pulling me back. Yeah. I must have thought I was going to get in. <laughs> what were you saying? Oh, I can't repeat it. <laughs> Did you hear me? Yeah, oh, yeah, clearly. You know, a lot of people Where was say. That, I that think was that, in Glasgow. That was in Glasgow, yeah. And, um, you know, a lot of people say you can't hear uh, what, what the crowd's saying when, you, in, when you're fighting because you're focused on your job. Yeah. But I could hear you. You I could hear me. I could hear you. <laughs> <laughs> but they're so sociable up in Glasgow because she went, I have a come and have a drink, and of course, so I go in to see the fight, and I'm like, you know, <laughs> I mean, come on, I'm amazing. Here. Wherever you go, you know, around England, I mean, it's brilliant to go in because they're just such big boxing fans yeah, everywhere yeah, you go. And yeah. the crowd, like, we sold around about 18 and a half thousand yeah. tickets uh, on oh. Saturday, and they were all amazing. You know, the crowd was cool. Even though there was a lot of Irish fans there, yeah, but they were, yeah. after that they gave me yeah. good round of applause Brilliant. and well they done were to you. Still a champ, Amaya. That's what Still I wanted to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, please, let's hear it. Amaya Khan! Amaya. <laughs> now, can I ask you a question? Because you live in the country, don't you? I do, yes. Have you got potholes in your road? Yes. I tell you what, the potholes in Kent, it's like driving on that foreign cheese, you know, full of holes. Yeah. And it's, it's a joke. I mean, London's bad, isn't it? Everywhere you go, there's roadworks, and nobody seems to be doing anything. They just they dig the hole, and they stay in it. And you think, look, <laughs> it's simple. You dig the hole, you fix the pipe, you fill it in, and you go to the pub. Don't just stand there looking at it. <laughs> anyway, I am now going to give a masterclass in solving the problems of potholes. And in these times of cuts, I'm going to show the council, the council, how to make a quick, easy, and most importantly, inexpensive way to fill a hole in the road. And for this purpose, I have uh, requested a work experience chap to help me. I should just go over, OK? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Guys, now you know... I said this, don't I? Now, you know I've got a position that needs filling. Uh, what position, sir? <laughs> Don't be rude. <laughs> this hole here, if flat on your back in that hole. Whatever you see, boss. Yeah, just to fill the pothole. Good lad, get, you'll get in there. And I'll, because I'm the foreman, I'll sit here and listen to the wireless. You know what I mean? And do like that. You can have a sing if you like. You know what I mean? I'll sit here like this, my my own business, OK? Have a little tab end, I'm a lot like. of bed in the summer to the kitchen Pour well. myself a cup of ambition Yawning, searching, trying to come to life I see him out coming Jumping to the shower and the blood starts pumping Out of the streets, the traffic's the jumping Help folks like me come from nine to five Danny Moore, come Working You've got nine to five What a way to make a living Anything else coming? Really getting by Oh my God! Oh my God! Ooh. Look at your belly! Fingers crossed! Any more coming? Any more, please? Can we have more traps? You'll have to reverse! Reverse! Go no, 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 over it! This way! This way! This way! That way! Oh, oh, Maggie, look, we have to do it, Sally! How long is it? They say it was unleaded, just when it was a minute. Oh, yes. I'll stop them out. I'll stop any more traffic coming, don't worry. Someone else is going to come. Oh, God. Yeah. No matter what they call you, they'll arrive. 
Can I ask you something? How did you get into this game? What made you decide, oh, I know, I'll lie on the road and let a car run over me? <laughs> Paul, uh, two years ago, I have a lot of friends. We want to do something fantastic, spectacular, and I'm training a lot on apps. Yeah. So uh, we tried out uh, with a car. Yeah. I took a wooden dash uh, yeah. to uh, diminate the, the white all over. And then we took it off, tried it out without, took two cars, three cars. <laughs> so. <laughs> How many sets ups a day do you do? Uh, 600. Oh. <laughs> I do that. I mean, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> well, I have a go. Well, good for you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I Thank mean, you. I can't, look at this. I mean, I can't get a. That's like getting concrete. <laughs> that's a six pack. All right, Sam, come in for God's sake. I'm going to get a chance to be in the belly on telly. <laughs> Let's hear the please for Daniel. Come on, have to see it. Daniel, that was brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Time now. Well, that, what did you think of that, the act of Daniel? Never seen anything like it. I kept I was, it behind the sofa, I couldn't watch it. <laughs> what did you I think mean, of it? I mean, I do a thousand sit-ups a day when I'm in training camp and... I you don't do how many? I, a thousand? A thousand, yeah, and I'll never let a car drive over my stomach, I mean... How long does it take to left? do a thousand sit-ups? Um, maybe about it, ten, ten years. Well, it takes <laughs> about ten minutes. Ten minutes for a thousand? Not so quick, yeah. I go, one. <laughs> Have a little lie down now, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> 